you don't know you got a good man right here, but the fact that you got Instagram and all these attentions and DMs and comments and like, you think I'm replaceable. News flash for y'all women, good men ain't that replaceable. Y'all want a man, like they said, that's tall, got money, you know, uh, got all these other things in order. There's 75s, 80s and all that. Bruh, every female is looking for that. And that's what Kevin Samuels was saying. Every female is looking for the same man, and all these men are looking for the same woman. And, I, and I'm not going to say all of everybody, but most, right? Because we got Instagram and we see what we like. We like a dude that can, with some motion. That's what, I mean, as a female, they like a dude with some motion. They like a dude uh, with some money. They like a dude, they, he got to have a big dick. You, they like a dude who, uh, can dress. They like a dude who can talk. They like a dude who fun. Like, how many of these guys do you think is out there? How many? It's not 50%. It's not 40. It's not 30. It's not even 20%. That's why what started this whole creative player stuff. Cause I'm trying to teach man how to be funny, how to dress, how to talk, get that credit score up, make some more money, get more spiritual, Get more skills. Learn how to talk with as far as language. Learn more languages. Anybody out there, dog, you talking another language, that's going to impress anybody. That's going to impress anybody. Because over here in America, a lot of motherfuckers only know one language, and everybody else that comes to America knows two. So we got to catch up, even in that sense. Like, come on, man. Everybody thinking like, I don't care. Everybody thinks that, everybody thinks they know what they want. You don't know what you want. You know what you, you know what you you know what looks good. And that's the problem. You know that if you got that dude and y'all took a picture together, it would look good. And that's how y'all choose y'all's men. Fellas, that's how y'all choose y'all's woman. That's what I said. Y'all trying to be cool and get this woman and you can't control her. And now she got you uncomfortable. You feel me? That's bad news. You don't want her like. You don't want that girl. You don't. She's not. She's no good for you. She's going to be one of them. You Have you not ever seen one of these 40, 35, 40, 50-year-old women, bad as hell, no ring on their finger? Fat ass, big titties, pretty face. But you like, damn, she can't keep a man. And then her friend like, no, nah, I know her. She used to date this big nigga with this football player. Nigga. She used to date this club owner. She used to date. But why didn't he keep her? Headache. She had the mindset that she, that she could replace him, and she didn't feel the need to submit or listen to him. These are the the women you want are unsubmissive. They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. Their ass is fat. Their titties is huge. Their smile, you know, their makeup is good. They dress good. But it's like, yo, when if you if they got all that going for them, what can you aid to them, and what can they bring to you besides extra likes on Instagram and have more niggas, you know, hating on you or something? Like it's for the wrong reasons why you want these specific type of women. Get the woman you need. The woman you need, bro, is gonna back you up. Like she's gonna pray for you. She's gonna do things that you just wouldn't expect. Hell, she might do things that your mom used to do for you. You know, and not to say you want a girl just to be your, your for, so her should be like your mom or nothing. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's just if you got a good mom that used to look out for you, pray for you, call and say, hey, have you eaten? Not where you at, but hey, have you eaten already? Well, I'm going to start cooking so when you get home, hey, I made your plate. I put it in the microwave for you just so you know. Oh, you about to go to work upstairs. You about to leave out for work. Hey, babe, I just brought you a, here go a little tuna sandwich for you, you know, just on your way to work or something. I know you ain't eight or maybe you just came from your like she's thinking of what can help you and what can make you better what can keep you in a better mood you know a mental state for her for the house and it's all done out of love it's just when a woman really loves a man she would just want to help him want to do things for him imagine you hungry as hell you come home and you look at your girl and she on tiktok or making a doing a ceiling challenge shaking her ass on TikTok to get attention and your stomach growling. Like, what the fuck? Are you serious? You doing the ceiling challenge? You what? Are you serious? No. That ain't the one you're going to want. 
Like, bro, I'm telling you. And then, oh, my gosh, these 8, 9s, and 10s with these BBLs now, all of them got a link. All of them got a link in that bio. Hit that little link tree. What it say? 18 and over. Press it. Press that link straight to OnlyFans. And then, fellas, you know what we do. Highlight that username and go straight to Google, nigga. Go over to that images tab and Vic, we not paying for y'all's OnlyFans. Knock it off. Knock it off. Y'all know I'm right. We not doing it. Um, But yeah, and I feel like, yo, that's why men, that's, they say men die sooner. And I'm thinking this is why. Because we are like, we're going to pay for everything. And the woman is just going to, Sit at home and stress me the hell out. No. Go be useful. She might be a she might be an artist. She might have one of the most beautifulest voices ever on this earth. Why will we hold her back? A woman should get paid only for what she loves to do. I'm a fan of that. I support that. No, I don't want you making desks. I don't want you on power lines, nigga, changing plumbing. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that in the military. I don't want to see that. It's cool if you want to be a female in the military. Cool. Front line. Go ahead. Do your thing. More power to you. But if you can sing, and women should just be getting paid by doing things they love that don't feel like work. And I'm sorry, OnlyFans ain't it. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody that can sing, like I said, somebody that's good with languages, or somebody need a tutor, somebody need a model, like things that they're really good at, you know? Like I said, God-given talents. It's like these are real skills that if you're just sitting in the house and not passing this along or educating nobody else on, it is, I'm looking at it like a waste. Like, yeah, go ahead, do your thing. Do what makes you happy. Because I can't say just sitting in the house, doing everything, waiting for me to come home, doing all this with an idle mind, and you got talents and skills and aspirations, but I, I because you with me, I'm telling you, nah, you ain't going to work. I'm going to pay all the bills just so I can feel like more of a man. Nigga, this is not the fucking 30s and 40s anymore. Like, this motherfucker. are you dumb, nigga? This is not it. Women make more money easier than ever now. They can go be bartenders, servers, uh, uh, what else? You know, modeling, get these, doing these content creation for like brands and stuff like it's certain things you would want to see a woman for so don't hate on them and don't hate on any man that needs his woman to work that needs his woman to work the goal is always to to have a plan and get to a point to where she don't have to work no more and the man can handle it but if you moving from a, a poor state like west virginia like i did and moving to atlanta and she wouldn't have got that job. Nigga, I was a car salesman who only got paid when I sold cars. Now, I was developing a whole bunch of other skills, but still, I needed that support from somebody. And it wasn't my parents. I needed it from my partner. From my partner. So any dudes out there that's looking down on somebody for doing 50-50, y'all niggas need to shut the fuck up, bro. Because y'all not, y'all not right. Y'all not right. And the only way you are right is if the man is actually capable of attaining more money and not in a specific situation. Now, if you live in Atlanta, your mom down here, your dad down here, you got family down here, friends down here, and you got a girl like, yeah, nigga, you should be working 24-7, doing everything you can. Like, yo, because you, we was out here by ourselves. By ourselves. Then we had a kid after like three years. So what I'm like, 23, 24, still chasing my music dreams, trying to make this shit happen. 